Hello. When was the last time that you experienced a really beautiful moment? When was the last time you stopped and witnessed something that you found beautiful? Perhaps it was a beautiful sunset or watching ocean waves roll onto a shoreline. Perhaps you heard the dawn chorus. I mean, we all know that beautiful moments surround us. And yet, how often do we pause to appreciate them? What's interesting is that research suggests that taking time to admire beauty can actually benefit our health and happiness. And in today's call, I'm going to share a simple practice to help you to appreciate beauty more and ultimately to feel happier. Welcome if you are new to this channel. I'm Sarah Kent and I had the great privilege of working with women around the globe to create their dreams so that they can leave a positive legacy with their lives. If you would like to get in touch, you're welcome to contact me through my website and I've popped a link in the video description below. Now, before I even get into the meat of today's video, I'm going to invite you to remember three things that you have found beautiful in the last 24 hours. If that's a bit of a struggle, take a pause and maybe pay attention to your surroundings right now. So that's the sounds, the sights and the sensations which surround you. What's beautiful? in your surroundings right now. You may be surprised at what you notice. And sometimes beauty is found in the simplest and smallest things. So I'm gonna do this right now too. Okay. As I speak to you, there's a blackbird singing outside. And uh, this particular bird has a really specific refrain. It's pretty, you can't hear it. Um, it includes as part of its song. And because of that, I know that this particular bird is actually one of the first ones that started singing this morning as the sky began to lighten. I love blackbird song, so I find blackbird song beautiful. Um, <clears throat> outside the galley window, the towpath is really lush and thick with greenery, undergrowth. Um, Okay, this does make mooring up a challenge, but I just love looking out on the greens. And I find particularly um, the greens and the golds and the fawny colours of seeding grass beautiful. And of course, there is my beautiful cat who was asleep, but has wandered off somewhere. <clears throat> so what difference does this make? Um, simply experiencing or seeing beauty is just good for our health um, and our concentration and our well-being. When we naturally notice and appreciate the beauty that is around us, it can lead to all kinds of different benefits. And there are many studies which show that it can make us feel more satisfied in life, have a stronger sense of meaning, and even act with more kindness towards others and the environment. Now, René Proyer, I've probably mispronounced his name, but he's a psychologist who created the practice known as Nine Beautiful Things. And I'm gonna share the practice later in this video, so <clears throat> stay tuned. But he and his team at Martin Luther University in Germany created a study involving 119 adults um, the participants in this study weren't actually told much about the purpose of it, only that it might help strengthen their strengths, was the words used. Some of the participants were instructed to write about childhood memories, but others were told to do the nine beautiful things practice. And this involves writing about three beautiful things in human behaviour, in nature and in general every evening. So everyone who participated also completed questionnaires about the happiness and depression levels before 
the week of this study, during and again directly afterwards, and then also one month, three months and six months after this study. And for the participants in a study who did the nine beautiful things practice, happiness increased and depressive symptoms were lessened whilst the study was going on. But then the same results were recorded one week after the experiment. This is an ongoing benefit. And one month after the experiment, there were still people who continued to describe them as being more happy. And the thing that is striking is that when they were talking to the participants afterwards, the participants specifically commented that the idea of finding beauty in everyday life really worked and helped them. So how do we make this practice? How do we actually find beauty in the everyday? Well, the easiest way for me to do it is to practice mindfulness. So that's simply taking time to slow down and truly witness the world around me. It doesn't have to be the natural world, it could be inside here, inside my boat. Um, I try to notice the, the details, textures, colours and shapes of everyday objects. You can already see that I love different textures. <clears throat> and by allowing myself to be really fully present in the moment, I find it easier for me to connect to the beauty that is always there. And it's not about looking for perfection. Sometimes it's something that's really quirky <clears throat> or even the imperfection of something that actually makes me notice its beauty. <clears throat> Sometimes I look for patterns and symmetry. Even in the most ordinary objects, you can find incredible patterns. <clears throat> and actually shifting my perspective can help. Sometimes seeing things from a different angle or even in a different light um, can help me see different facets of beauty. And something that actually helps me to do this is um, taking photos. I've invariably got my phone nearby. Um, just changing the orientation of a, of a photo can help me notice something different and see something more beautiful. And yes, I do have a photo folder dedicated to beauty. Ultimately, what I love best is getting out into nature. So I make a point of getting out and taking a walk whenever I can. And just to try and pay attention to the little things. So the way sunlight filters through the leaves or reflects off the water and the colours of the grass and the undergrowth that's out there right now. Or simply the shapes of the clouds as they pass through. And I should actually emphasise that practising finding beauty in everything isn't a way of avoiding the bad things in life. It's simply training ourselves to look for beauty right now in the present moment. And since this has such positive benefits for our well-being, it, it seems silly not to do this. So the practice of nine beautiful things, which was used in this experiment, is actually really simple. And if you want to try it, give it a go for a week. And here's, here's what you need to do. So every night for at least one week, set aside 15 minutes before going to bed to simply reflect on nine beautiful things that happened during the day. And that's actually three things in three different categories. So, to begin with, you write down three beautiful things about human behaviour, something that you saw or witnessed that was beautiful with human behaviour. The second is to write down three things that you experienced as beautiful in nature <coughs> or the environment around you. And lastly, write down three beautiful things, just in general, that you noticed during the day. So it could be music that you heard, or a piece of art, um, or maybe 
the lines of a building and um, some architecture which suddenly caught your attention. And make a note of why you found each of these nine things beautiful. That's it. It's that simple. Give it a try. Try it for a week and see what difference it makes for you. Once you do start looking for beauty, I think you'll find there's actually a lot more of it than you first thought. Um, I still find new things every day to appreciate. Now, if you're a woman who has a dream and wants to leave a positive legacy with your life, I'd love to invite you to be a part of the DreamWorks project, which is now global. Um, you'll be interviewed for free and ultimately your dream will go on to reach and inspire other women. There's a link to the project in the video description and I'd love for you to get in touch and take part. Thanks again for watching today. Until next time, be extraordinary.